I am Kathy Wempovi Sanchez from Ohoge Oinge, San Alfonso Pueblo, and I am the uh, fourth generation of the Maria and Julia Martinez pottery lineage. I grew up alongside of my great grandmother Maria and my grandmother Santana and then Adam and working as a family. Hello, my name is Waylon Sanchez. I'm from San Alfonso Pueblo. It makes me um focus and makes me um, appreciate the little things in life. I get to go out and gather my own materials, find my own materials, and we always go out there in the good intentions. And you go out there in the purpose of not taking too much and always asking if you're being allowed to find what you need or take what you may use. And always remember that you're you're being allowed to to do this. It's just not a given fact that I can just go do it. You know, you're always showing the respect to the material, to the Mother Earth, nature. Because when you're out there, you see the animals, the wildlife. You hear the birds singing and you get that. And you bring it back with you when you sit there and work. And it helps you interpret what you may want to design or add into your works that you may do. And it just calms my spirit and it just makes me happy to be able to do what I do. I think what's important for me to pass down to my children is the loving, caring, nurturing way to be with Mother Earth, um, respectfulness of prayer when you're getting the clay in asking permission and in order to then create with it, and then always in a prayerful way with water, asking water to nurture and bind the two ingredients of the clay and the river silt and the volcanic ash that we use as temper, how to mix it in prayer together, how the consistency feels, but always having a rhythm in your heart as you're working. So this is a, uh, one of the polishing stones that we use and the polishing stones are what aligns the crystals for us. So the shine doesn't come from a glaze, but as we put the iron oxide or the whatever type of clay slip that we're using, it's clay. And while it's moist, we're rubbing it with a stone. And as we're rubbing it with a stone, the crystals align and the shine comes up. And the polishing stones, uh, we've been gifted through Maria Martinez, our great-grandmother, generations of the stones that they've been using. And so they have the shine on it because of the constant rubbing. You bring them home and it becomes generational heirlooms. So it's very nice feeling when you can hold a stone and you get a rhythm and the song going to create the shine. And at the very end, the firing process itself, of just letting it go and getting sent into the firing. And by letting it go, I am saying that I am releasing myself of any burden or any worry or any thoughts of the peace being ruined during the firing because you never have control over those last steps. You're just asking that you're okay with that because you know, Maybe there was something specific or something that you didn't even know you were thinking about when you were making it. The clay itself knows that you have to just let go of that thought. And by that means, like when I say it centers me and it keeps me humble and happy is that it just releases me of the worry or the burden that I may have been carrying. So when it's let go, you give it off to the spirit world. And if they see fit to send it back to you, they will. And then in that sense that it's coming back and it's not for me, but it's gonna find its proper home or proper place in the world where it wants to be and belong. So I just so honored that it lets me 
have that certain amount of time with it and then send it off. With clay creations, um, there's always a nature of returning and giving life in a way that it ends as well. So sometimes a pot has to be returned back to Mother Earth and that you're willing to let it go. And sometimes the benefit in that is that you start fresh again and you know that you're able to do it again.